Hello, hello, good people. Welcome to Coloring Dairies. For those who have subscribed to my channel and watch and like my videos, thank you for your continued support. My channel will not be where it is without your support. For those who didn't get a chance to subscribe yet, please, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Thank you in advance. Today, let's answer this very important question. Do simple carbohydrates or sugar cause diabetes? The answer is no. Let me explain. But first, here is a brief introduction. All cells in our bodies depend on glucose for energy. The cells continually utilize on glucose supplies from the blood surrounding them via insulin. Now imagine this insulin as the delivery vehicle that transports glucose from the blood to the body cells. The blood gets the glucose from the small intestine, that is in case of uh, food that was just consumed or eaten and has been digested. And then on the, on the liver, that is the glucose that has been stored for later use. To answer the question on whether simple carbohydrates or sugars cause diabetes, let's compare blood glucose balancing in a healthy, healthy person with blood glucose balancing in a person with type 1 diabetes and blood glucose balancing in a person with type 2 diabetes. Let's start with a healthy person scenario. After a meal, as blood glucose lysis, beta cells of the pancreas respond by secreting insulin into the blood. And as the blood with insulin flows into the body, the insulin moves the glucose from the blood into the body cells. Most cells take only the glucose they can use immediately, the liver and muscle cells take the excess glucose and store it for later. Let's look at this, the uh, person with type 1 diabetes scenario. After a meal, as blood glucose slices, beta cells of the pancreas are unable to secrete insulin into the blood. And as a result, the glucose from the meal consumed or eaten and digested cannot be delivered into the body cells because the insulin, that is the delivery vehicle, cannot be produced. In response, the high glucose in, the, in, the, in response to the high glucose levels, the kidney works extra hard to eliminate the excess glucose through frequent urination. However, with a doctor's direction, insulin can be introduced to the blood by injection or pump several times a day. The insulin introduced will then work as in the healthy person scenario by, uh, by taking the glucose from the blood into the cells therefore keeping the blood glucose at a normal level. Note, 
Insulin cannot be taken through the mouth since it's a protein and it's, it can be digested. And if it is digested, it is not going to do the work it's supposed to do. So I'm sure your doctor will let you know. Okay, let's look at the person with type 2 diabetes scenario. In case of type 2 diabetes, obesity is the most common trigger for the changes that eventually result to type, to type 2 diabetes. So that the obesity, note that. So after a meal, as blood glucose slices, bitter cells of the pancreas respond by secreting insulin into the blood. As the blood with the insulin flows the glucose from the blood into the enlarged fat cells, note, now the cells are no longer normal, they're enlarged fat cells due to the obesity. The enlarged cells become resistant to the insulin and therefore can no longer receive the glucose needed by the cell for energy because they become resistant to the insulin. Blood glucose slices and the, uh, uh, and the beta cells of the pancreas attempt to compensate for the resistance by secreting more insulin which the body is not adjusted to that scenario of secreting too much insulin into the body. So eventually, the beta cells get exhausted and uh, are incapable of secreting more insulin. And so the blood glucose keep rising. It is advisable in that case, to seek medical attention, you know. However, there are also things that you can also do in addition to seeking medical attention. You can eat healthy foods, especially less simple carbohydrates and more complex carbohydrates, proteins, and low fat foods may help to reduce your, your weight. Regular physical activities, at least 30 minutes three times a week, you know, that would help with the losing of weight. And hopefully if you continue with the trend, the, the weight will be maintained, the healthy weight will be maintained. Also, it is advisable to monitor your blood glucose levels closely to ensure they remain within healthy range. So, having gone through these three scenarios, the healthy person scenario, the type 1 diabetes scenario, and the type 2 diabetes scenario, it is safe to conclude that... Uh, Diabetes is impaired regulation of glucose caused by inability of beta cells of the pancreas to secrete insulin in the blood, resulting in rising blood glucose. That is a type 1 diabetes scenario. And also, enlarged fat cells resistant to insulin, resulting to the fat cells not getting glucose for energy. In addition, there is a rise in blood glucose, that is type two, type two diabetes scenario. So it is easy to conclude that uh, uh, simple carbohydrates or sugars are not the actual cause of diabetes. I hope uh, this video will be of help to at least one person 
and if you know of a person who could use this information please please share and thank you bye bye